It is hot and it feels even hotter outside. It is, and I was just counting them up. Uh, we have just lived through another 90 degree day. This is day number 19 in July. And why is that significant? Well, number one, our average number of 90 degree days in July in the triangle is 14. The most we've ever had is 25, and that was last year. 19 now, the most we've ever had is 25. There's 10 days left in the month. So it looks like we are going to shatter that record of the most 90 degree days ever. And speaking of shattering, I feel for you with electric bills on the way. That's not going to be good. However, 1984, we only had two. Email me if you remember that year and tell me all about it. I would have loved to have lived through that year. All right, we've got a couple storms to keep an eye on. Everyone got the heat, but not everyone is going to get the storms today. In between Anger and Lillington down in Harnett County, heavy rain with a lot of thunder and lightning. That's slowly moving up to the north. Otherwise, the big picture doesn't have a lot to talk about. There's a few specks here and there. However, we still have a few hours of enough daytime heating to maintain some storms, so it's not completely over with yet, and neither is the hot weather. Temperatures well into the 90s. I mean, when you start to see the contour map start to turn that kind of pinkish, purplish, that's when you know it's serious heat. So 96 in Rocky Mount, 95 in Clinton. Today was, again, for many of us, the hottest day of the year, equaling what we had yesterday. And believe it or not, the humidity level actually came up a little more. Our dew point temperature averaged out about 74, 75 today. The higher that number gets, the higher the humidity is, and the higher our heat index values. They're right now still 105 to 107, topping out about 108 and 109 in some spots today. Now as we go forward to the rest of the week, we've got more hot weather, obviously, but it's going to start to tone down a little later this week as our rain chances start to go up. So first of all, for tomorrow, there's not a whole lot going on in the rain department. Maybe a 20% chance of storms or so, but the higher rain chance returns as we head into Thursday and Friday now. But for the rest of tonight, any of the storms that do pop up could produce some severe weather. Many of us are still in a marginal risk of severe weather, with damaging wind being the most likely threat. As we head into tomorrow, it's again a small coverage chance, only about 20 or 30 percent chance, but those small storms could still be strong enough to produce severe weather. So along the Virginia border, some of us, again, a marginal risk of severe weather tomorrow. And as if the heat and the storms aren't enough for our weather plate, let's add in a scoop of tropical depressions. Tropical Depression 7 has just formed. Just before 5 o'clock, the National Hurricane Center was watching this area of low pressure, this area of thunderstorms, way out in the Atlantic. So it's out there in the central Atlantic. But it's now a depression, our seventh of the year. Winds are 35 miles per hour, and it's moving off to the west-northwest at 8 miles per hour. It'll strengthen over the next several days, and as early as tonight could become Tropical Storm Gonzalo. We're already on the G name storm. But as you can see, it's going to take until this week weekend as a tropical storm before it gets into the Caribbean. It's pretty low in the latitude, so I'm not too concerned about it for the East Coast, but we'll keep an eye on it. Either way, nothing imminent for us to worry about. But another one to check off the list. And tomorrow will be another 90 degree day to check off the calendar. 96, it'll feel like 105 plus, similar to what we've just lived through. And then as you can see, rain chances go up Wednesday and Thursday. Temperatures come down a bit. In fact, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, decent rain chances. But as we look at your 10-day forecast and get into next week, we're back to low rain chances and high heat in the mid-90s. All right, that's a look at your forecast. It's Tuesday. Don't forget, we're tracking the track.